So I think that there's been a lot of hurt in the LGBTQ plus community and you know lawyers like anyone else wants to protect uh, that minority group and so there is this concern of being on the right side. However there's equality rights, there's religious freedom rights and I think that the focus has been on equality rights whereas there is religious freedom too and so that's something that is being overlooked. You know, this traditional view of marriage as between a man and a woman is something that's very fundamental to Trinity Western. Whether it's six words or not, um, the, the covenant is about love, it's about integrity, it's about faithfulness, and um, in general, it, it's to guide living at Trinity Western. I feel like all these allegations are not true. I call them allegations because, I mean, I, I would love for the people who actually write these negative things to actually come and spend a week on campus and actually go and sit in classrooms, go to chapel, talk to students, talk to faculty members, and actually get, you know, live the experience before they start writing about it. Disagreements are part of life. You cannot get a group of people in a room and expect them to agree on everything. But these disagreements doesn't mean that we hate each other or that we want, you know, any harm to get to anyone. You know, we know Canada as a diverse play country and accept, it accepts all religions and all like backgrounds, so it was a surprise to see that they have to go through this to get a law school. I mean, as a student, when you first come to the school, you have a big part of it is reading through the covenant and agreeing or disagreeing with it, deciding to come to the school or not. That is a part of the process. But then if you are a student leader, you don't really interact with it much unless you hear about it at certain um, discussions or lectures or um, chapel talks sometimes cover more of it. I grew up in Guatemala. I was born in California, so I had some influence, like North American influence. My dad was from New York, so I grew up speaking English and Spanish, and my mom's from South Africa, so I spoke Afrikaans. So I had a mixture of cultures already just in the household. Fast forward to when I started looking at universities, I wanted a school that kind of reflected the diversity that I grew up with. So I looked into the school and I loved that they had not only just small classes, but also they had a lot of um, research opportunities. And I also really appreciated the fact that they had internationals, so it wasn't just North Americans, because that was something I was worried about as being like the odd one out. When it came down to choosing it, I looked at um, what they stood for and looking more at the values, because that was something that was a high priority. Um, and I, when my mom and I were looking at different schools, and we saw some that had like Christian values and some that had like different groups and stuff, and then we read Trinity's mission statement and the covenant, and we both just like, my mom started crying and we were both like, oh my goodness, like this just really represents like what I grew up with and like especially the values I hold most dearly and like I just really loved the fact that like even if I was far from home I would still be around a community that was at least similar to what I had grown up with. Like in our community life we like basically had a suite of, um, my roommate was Sikh and my um, suite mates were uh, who was Muslim, Catholic, and then we had another friend who was a very uh, Pentecostal Christian, and we all were best friends. We had deep theological discussions and debates, and even though we didn't agree with everything that each other believed, you can still respect each other's opinions. And I found that that was really what I found at Trinity is there is a div diverse amount of people from different backgrounds with different standards, with different religious beliefs and backgrounds, but they're all here pursuing the academic quality and the academic community and they respect the standards that the, the school holds because we understand it as something that is meant for our benefit and to, to contribute to the community we have in order to have a more unified community. The covenant is not about six words, it's not about um, specifically about marriage, it's about um, how to live as a Christian community. Covenant has changed and in fact I think the first dance was about a year and a half before I started at Trinity and the, the drinking policy changed while I was a student here. Um, so yes, there have been changes and I'm sure there will be changes in the future, but as far as something as um, critical as the definition of marriage, that's something that would be need to be up to the Trinity Western community. I, I think that this case has raised a lot of interesting responses and concerning responses across Canada.